Okay guys, so now we're gonna do the burn bolo and we're gonna uh, try to chase our partners back off some common reactions that we can have after we bring uh, the opponent's butt on the ground. Okay, so we can use any of uh, ways to get the opponent's butt on the ground that we had before. And we're gonna use just the simplest one, just gonna kick his butt and bring his butt on the ground. And he's gonna try to avoid the first uh, the burn bolo now using both hands on the ground. I try not let I uh, try to defend the attacks. Just both. No, poison was more sharp. So this way, yes. We're gonna bring it both hands on the ground this way. So I'm gonna do my spin. I'm gonna bring my foot on top of his hip one more time. So bring my foot on the hip. Spin this way, and then I'm gonna get him on. I'm gonna catch myself on this position. Here. After I get here, John is, gonna, John is trying to avoid the burn ball with both hands on the ground. He's fighting the attacks with both hands on the ground. For me, this is a, a mistake, right? Because if he stay here, I'm just gonna need to use to switch the grip on the collar to ride behind his back. This way here. Okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna try to catch anything that I want here. My, my hand on his back, right? After I do that, I'm gonna look for to catch his far leg one more time, and I'm gonna lift his leg up, and I'm gonna try to bring behind of his knee right on top of my shin, so I can stretch him a little bit, and start bringing his, his behind of his knee on top of my shin. After I get this, I'm gonna just try to keep stretching my shin behind his knee, and bring him up right in front of me. And uh, my goal is try to bring his butt towards the ground, okay? After that, I can start switch from my seat belt, bring him down, and throw my second hook. So one more time. So I have the Lahiva. I bring him down. Deep the Lahiva hook. Uh, full right on top of his stomach. Pinch my knees, remember, don't let him bring his knee outside. Keep your knee right on top of his thigh. Keep spinning under. And roll the avoid, try to avoid the brain ball with both hands on the ground. Get behind of his back, just like so, and bring right behind him, bring my hand right on his opposite pants, right? Now I just need to stretch him a little bit, bring my shin right behind his knee, stretch him forward, stretch him forward, oh, and the opposite the back, okay? Another similar uh, movement that we can use, it's uh, when my opponent gives me the reaction to try to take a toe hold on me. Right? So, one more time. I bring Jones butt on the ground. I go for the spin and Jones try to attack the toe hold on me. Just, just like that. Bring this way here. Right? So, once this happens, I just need to switch the grip one more time to behind his back. Right? And kind of follow his movement. Remember, I don't want to pass too much my knee. Then is when my foot, uh, the foot lock is going to work. Right? So, right? Yes, exactly. This way, right? So keep your knee kind of close of his hip, right? And keep your knee open. Don't let your knee come inside, right? Keep your knee open this way. And if, when you want to start keeping attack, I just need to follow his movement. Look, just keep following, following, following. And I'm going to end up on his back, right? So, so look, go this way. So I'm going to have my my attack, well, I'm gonna try to take my foot, look, keep my foot, my my knee, right close of his hip. Uh, oh my gosh, you can So, so look my knee, my knee is really close of his hip. I don't let my knee pass. Right this way, then the foot lock's gonna start. Uh, he's gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna start feeling the foot, the toe hold. Right, so I keep my my knee close off his hip, and I'm gonna look for to just follow his move. He's gonna try to do the toe hold, and then he's gonna start just bring his shin and follow what he's doing. Here, there, I just need to start climb and go for his back. Yes. 